in this video segment you are seeing the uterus uh, with IUCD inserted or placed normally now this is the anterior lip of the cervix posterior lip of the cervix cervical canal and this is the myometrium this is the IUCD in longitudinal section and the myometrium anterior, the fundus, the posterior myometrium and you see as I move the probe, angle the probe slightly towards the left side I see uh, solid relatively hypopoic mass which is in fact a myoma relating to the anterior wall of the uterus with the internal calcification giving marginal calcification giving posterior shadow. Now it measures approximately five into five centimeters and uh, this is the transfer section showing you both. This is the myoma, this area. This is the IUCD. This is the uterus. Uh, fundus of the uterus, posterior wall of the uterus, the cervix and the cervical canal. And this is the longitudinal section. Well, this is the myoma. approximately measuring 5 into 5. So this is a case study of uh, anterior uterine wall myoma elevating the anterior uterine wall with uh, in IUCD placed, uh, seen placed properly is in position. Uh, this is the transfer section of IUCD. Now the IUCD gives the shadow and appears broken in transfer section. These two shiny echogenic areas are consistent with uh, the IUCD echoes. Uh, and this is the typical former tail artifact that you see in cases of uh, IUCD in transfer section. This is the IUCD in longitudinal section. This is the IUCD in transfer section. So, and, uh, There is a cystic area seen in the region of the right adenexa measuring approximately 3.3 by 3.3 centimeter. Has a septa within it. This is the septa, complete septa, and uh, dependent region uh, echoes are seen in it. These are the dependent region echoes. It is very well demarcated. So, this is a uh, right retention area and cyst. This is the, now here you see the myoma again in longitudinal section IUCD, uterus. This is our case of the day. Thank you very much.